Softer than satin was the light from the stars She wore blue velvet Bluer than velvet were her eyes Warmer than May her tender sighs Love was Defined by some film theorists as non-linear storytelling, see Pulp Fiction, anti-narrative is a challenging genre form that subverts traditional storytelling techniques to tease out abstract subtext beneath the stated or apparent objectives of its characters or images. Antonioni's depiction of Italian males as beauty-obsessed dogs flips on itself to show a similar phenomenon in the privileged women who audaciously pursue the male lead. No one can be satisfied. She wore blue David Lynch blends surrealistic elements into an uncomfortable story of adult sexual awakening contrasted against violence, real and imagined, mystery and mental illness. Blue Velvet remains as the filmmaker's greatest filmic achievement. jamais été avec vous dans aucune chambre. Je ne voulais pas vous souvenir. Parce que vous avez peur. Ne le connaissez-vous pas non plus Alain René's transcendent filmic parlor game remains an innovative and exquisitely executed example of minimalist filmmaking used to evoke mystery, romance, and a sprinkle of social invective. Traces of Bauhaus, surrealism, and Dadaism abound. Voici les questions auxquelles vous, spectateurs, aurez à répondre. Soyez attentifs. Un objet. I don't like being crowded by a couple of punk road hogs clear across two states. Where Easy Rider's dual protagonists, played by Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda, were drug-smuggling hippie outlaws, the four main characters of Tulane Blacktop represent a broader generational spectrum of American wartime experience. A malaise of alienation has set in. Persona is Igmar Bergman's postmodern lesbian romantic psychological mystery. It draws on formal theatrical conventions and minimal set designs to observe a complex relationship between an actress named Elizabeth, played by Liv Ullman, and her full-time nurse, Alma, played by B.B. Anderson. Political and social issues frequently simmer beneath the potentially opaque surface of anti-narrative films. Surrealist films such as Un Chien Andalou and The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie share aspects of anti-narrative intentionality as do avant-garde, minimalist, experimental and art installation films. These terms can be and are used interchangeably in categorizing films in the category, be they commercial endeavors or not. While toying with chronology can play a role in anti-narrative films, it is not a prerequisite criterion to fulfilling the demands of the genre. Subverting audience expectations is, however, an essential facet. 
The invention of anti-narrative film dates back to the early 1900s. Frederick S. Armitage's A Nymph of the Waves and George Melies's Le Cakewalk Infernal experimented with various filmic techniques to provoke and entertain the audience. Anti-narrative is a DIY genre frequently used by rebellious filmmakers to expand on intellectual, artistic, and socially provocative ideas. It is an auteur's format that accommodates fiercely imaginative and caustic approaches to filmic storytelling. Mm -hmm.